Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a haul. If you watched my previous video, which was a vlog, I did tell you guys I went shopping. It was actually a shop with me vlog. I went to Walmart, Target, and Hobby Lobby. I also went to Dollar Tree. I picked up a bunch of items, so I thought I would share with you guys in a haul what I purchased. So let's just jump right into my haul. So I'll start off with Hobby Lobby. And the first two things I've already set up where I want it to be, but I still want to show you guys. The first thing is this sign for my laundry room. I did already write laundry on it. My handwriting is so bad and I try to get all pretty and creative, but it looks horrible. So I'm gonna try to buy stencils and then rewrite laundry, but I'm just gonna hang that up in my laundry room. And then I also bought this large mason jar and then I have all of my little scent beads for the wash and then I just wrote in the front scent beads and that is going to go in my washer room and then I also bought two large candles because on my fireplace I bought these little candlesticks and they needed large candles so I bought these two and then the last item I bought from Hobby Lobby is just this little key holder it's white and it's metal and you can hang it up right next to your front door and then just hang your keys because me and my husband are always losing our keys Comment down below if you guys are the same, but we're always losing the car keys or the keys to the house. And we're always running around the last minute trying to look for our keys. So I thought this would be good to hang right by the door. And every time we come in, just hang it there. Okay, next I will share with you guys what I bought from Dollar Tree. Now the first few items I bought, I cleared them out of. I did mention this and I think my must-haves for Dollar Tree they have electric toothbrushes at Dollar Tree. It's very, very hard to find. It's very rare when I find it. And when I do find it, I always grab as many as I can. And I haven't seen them for a while. I think the last time I saw them was probably like about four months ago. And every time I go, I always look. It's been four or five months since the last time I saw them. And I always notice they only have Doc McStuffins, which is fine because both my kids like Doc McStuffins. So I bought these Oral-B electric toothbrushes and I'm so happy because these are so pricey at Target and Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, any drug stores. They're always really expensive. So, so happy that I found them and guys, I bought, I cleared them out. They only had six left and I bought all six of them. So I bought three for my daughter and then I bought three for my son. So now they will be set for a while with electric toothbrushes. Next is going to be some more white roses. I know you guys, I'm always buying white roses and just flowers and Dollar Tree in general, but I do a lot of crafts and DIYs. And in the middle of my craft, I ran out of some flowers that I needed and I didn't need that many. So hopefully these are four. I thought I bought five. I bought four. So hopefully these last four will be good enough to finish my craft. Next is going to be this drink. And I didn't even know Dollar Tree sold this drink. I've never tried this flavor, but I love this brand by Bay. I don't even know how to say it, but I love this brand. I always get the black cherry and it tastes delicious. It's just a sparkling antioxidant infusion water and it's only five calories. It's really good. I love the black cherry one. That's the one I usually always go for. And I found this in Dollar Tree and they're pretty pricey. When I go to my local Kroger, which is my grocery store, it's usually about $2.50 each. So when I found it in Dollar Tree, I got super excited. This is the only flavor that they had. I've never tried it. Don't know if it's going to be good, so I only bought one. And it's called Roja or Rioja. I don't know, root beer. So comment down below if you guys drink these and if you ever tried this flavor. If it's any good, if it's good, I will definitely go back and stock up on some. Next is going to be a lip product by Milani. I've never seen Milani products in my Dollar Tree. This is the first time I've ever seen it. And it's just a power lip lasting and moisturizing lip gloss in pink. And I just thought that looked cool and interesting. So I want to try that out. And then the next few things are just like Valentine's things that I bought for the kids. So I can give to the kids on Valentine's. So I bought them each a balloon. I bought my daughter a princess one. And then my son, a Paw Patrol one. Then I bought these bags to put their gifts in. I bought them like little small knickknacks. So I bought these bags to put that in. Then I bought them each a stuffed little plush toy. So I bought my daughter this one. I think it's supposed to be like a ladybug, really cute. And then I bought my son this monkey. 
and then it has Velcro right here so he can like hang it anywhere. So I bought him that monkey. Then I also bought my son this Valentine's Magic Paint Poster. I bought one for my daughter as well and I have no clue where it is. It must have fell out the bag in the car, but I bought two of them, one for my son and one for my daughter. Then they each are going to get some chocolates. So my daughter has this pink box and then my son, I don't know what's up with him, but he's in love with emojis right now. So I got him an emoji one. So they each will get some chocolate. And then also for my daughter, I just bought her these cute little socks. And then for my husband and his Valentine's little bag, he loves gop suppers. It's one of his favorite candies. I got him some gop suppers. And that is all that I bought from Dollar Tree. So now let's move on to let's move on to Walmart because Walmart's right next to me. So I bought this brush holder, not brush holder, this brush cleaner. I usually get the other brand. Um, a different brand but they didn't have any other brands other than this parents choice I'm not sure how well this one works but I like to use these bottle brush holders to clean out my water bottles and also my kids water bottles so I bought another one of these then I just bought some Gorilla Glue this is kind of like the um what's that super glue that everyone uses I can't remember the name I don't know but there's another super glue that's really really popular but I don't ever use it because if you read the back of the box it says it's like known to cause cancer by I don't know inhaling all the fumes and I'm that weird person that gets really paranoid with that kind of stuff so I just buy this one to do my crafts you can use it on anything you use it on glass wood metal so I use this gorilla one instead of the other one and I can't believe I cannot remember the name. If I remember, I'll mention it to you guys. But yeah, I use that glue. I need it for a craft. Then I bought some pillow stuffing. I have this like little pillow casing that I bought for Ryan from I think Lee Target, and I need just some stuffing to put in it. So I bought that. Then I bought some nail polish. My nails are so bad from moving; they hurt and they they're brittle and they're breaking. So I've never tried this, but it's by Sally Hansen. And it is nail rehab. It's for intensive care for severely damaged nails. So hopefully this will help me out with my damaged nails. Then I just needed some more of these storage baskets. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you would have seen me haul these. I bought a, quite a few. I thought I had enough, but I didn't. I needed more for the pantry and also I think underneath my sink. So I bought two sets of the rose gold. Then I just bought this cute little hat. I really love this hat, it's so cute. I was never really into hats until maybe about a year ago or early this year or last year. And I think it's when my son started school. I have to wake up so early, I don't feel like doing my hair half the time. So I like to just throw on hats and I thought this one was cute and it was only three bucks. So grabbed that. Then I grabbed myself a robe. I don't have any robes and I found this black silk one and then it has this cute like little lacing in the bottom. So I thought that was really cute. So I just picked that up for myself. Then hopefully my husband's not watching because now he's going to see one of his little Valentine's gifts. We don't ever give each other like huge expensive Valentine's gifts. We give each other just small like little things like our favorite candy, a card, he'll get me roses, stuff like that. We usually don't do like big gifts. We do big gifts like for birthdays and Christmas. So I just got him some more basketball shorts. Um, we've been painting a lot in the house, so all his basketball shorts are all ruined. So I just bought him a pair of black ones. And the last two items are going to be bath rugs for my master bathroom. I bought two sets. This lighting is horrible, but let me see if I turn off this light if you can see a little better. So I bought two sets of these white rugs. And I just liked the ends of it with the tassel. It's so cute. So I bought two of I bought two of those. Now I'll share with you guys everything that I bought from Target. In their dollar section, I picked up a few of their socks. I thought they were really cute. I'm that weird person that likes these colorful, festive socks. I have just regular plain white and black socks, but I also like really festive socks. So I bought these. They're pink and purple and it says you plus me equals glitter. Then I bought these pink ones with stripes. And then I bought these like hot pink ones. And has really pretty like roses flowers on it and they were all only a dollar each then I bought my husband a box of Reese's he loves Reese's for Valentine's 
Then I also bought him some Axe Night Body Wash. So all of this will be his little Valentine's gift. Then I just bought a pink spray bottle. I need another one of these. I lost the other one I had. I like to put water in it. And then when I'm doing my daughter's hair, I like to just spray her hair with a little bit of water. So I need another one of these. I also bought myself a shirt. Yeah, I know. I don't know what's up. I've been really into this camel stuff. But I bought myself this shirt. And I got it in a large because I want it to be really big and loose and baggy. And I want to tie it here on the side. So I got like... Yeah, I got a large, so I just bought that. And so then the last few things, guys, I try not to go too crazy. I don't know, Target has like a new section. It's just like an aisle full of different types of face masks, lip masks, eye masks, everything and anything you can think of. And I wanted to grab so much, but I told myself not to because they were all like three bucks each. And then a few of them that I wanted were like five bucks each. And I told myself I didn't eat a lot of it. So I bought a few things. I might go back later once I'm done with these, but... I've never tried lip masks. If anyone has tried lip masks, comment down below. Let me know if they work, if you like them. I found these. I don't, I'm not even sure how to pronounce the name, but it's spelled A-V-A-T-A-R-A. -A -A, and this one is a Tarte Orange Hydro Gel Lip Mask Collagen. And then this one is a Dainty Rose Hydro Gel Lip Mask for Soothing. So I'm going to try these lip masks out and see how they work out. Then I bought, I think, two eye ones, yeah. And then I bought these two eye ones. This one is by that same brand I just mentioned. And this one is called No Baggage Hydro Gel Eye Mask. It's for energizing. It says it takes a load off, leave under eye bags behind with our exclusive cocktail and refreshing ingredients. And then I bought these by Yes to Cucumbers. And it's just for depuffing your under eyes. Lord knows my under eyes are really puffy and dark from this move. So yeah, I'm going to try that out as well. And the last item I bought is a lot of times when I use my face masks, my hands get all messy and then it gets under my nails. So I bought like this little spatula thing that you use to apply your face masks with. But yeah, that is the last thing that I purchased from Target. So that's going to complete my haul from Target, Walmart, Hobby Lobby, and Dollar Tree. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.